rating on the packaging says M for mature, ages 17 and over. So we put the video stores to the test. We sent in a 12-year-old boy to see if retailers would sell him these M-rated games that are designed for users at least 17 years old. 847. Thank you. Thank you. The sale's good at Media Play. Or it'll be 31.79. Thank you. Okay. Same story at GameStop. But our 12-year-old isn't as lucky at Blockbuster. You have an ID on your mother? Uh, no, sorry. Don't uh, have... I need you to have an ID. Oh. Because it's... I am ready games. And no such luck at Game Crazy in Mishawaka, either. Do you have any of the Grand Theft, Theft, Theft Autos? Um, we do, but I need a parent in here for you buy them. Oh, okay. Thanks, anyway. 50% of the time, our 12-year-old is able to purchase video games with an M rating. IEMA, the Interactive Entertainment Merchants Association, is a nonprofit group that partners with game sellers to keep violent games out of the hands of kids. IEMA partners with three of the stores we tested, which means those stores are supposed to check IDs for M-rated sales. But only two of the three held true to their corporate commitment. So this is really only a five-month-old policy, and as such, it's going to have, you know, difficulties in the early stages because we have to train sales level staff all around the country in a relatively new rating system which is only 10 years old. But regardless, kids have easy access whether parents allow them to purchase M-rated games or not. So is the material in these games that realistic? After all, it is just a video game. The graphics do look really realistic and they do look human. Um, so. It's not necessarily just a cartoon. Game Crazy store director John Hurst explains the industry has come a long way. Back with Atari, um, the graphics weren't as good, so really if there was blood, it's little, you know, squares. Nowadays it's more realistic, people can actually tell the graphic violence, um, and so it does make it a lot more intense nowadays. Brad Mazik, a child psychologist, seconds that. They expose them to situations and themes and events that are beyond their ability to process and, and understand. Games with nudity, sexual themes, or being able to kill someone with the click of a button. All it takes is one, um, pro one mistake, one serious mistake, and somebody can be seriously injured or killed. Mazik's talking real life. He says video games with a rating too mature for a child can cause serious problems. It can lead them to un misunderstand situations. It can desensitize them to um, violence and desensitize them um, to sexual situations. The bottom line is parents. Parents have to know what their children are doing. Even those who sell video games for a living admit. There wasn't a need for those ratings that wouldn't be there. So this one has the old one yeah. and the newer ones too? A few newer ones, but this one has mostly new ones. The video game industry is a big business, more than $10 billion a year and soaring. There's people coming here that are in their 60s, 70s and still play video games, so it's quite a broad spectrum. According to the National Institute on Media and the Family, 92% of children ages 2 to 17 play these video games. One of them has a P PlayStation 2 and one of them has a GameCube and a, an Xbox. Karen Zilke's kids are all hooked. They use their allowance and they use gift money and sometimes we help them. Zilke is supervising her 12-year-old son, Philip as he looks for a new game at Game Crazy in Mishawaka. I wouldn't let them make their purchase without us. I still look at the back of them, though, to see why they have that rating. If the rating is M for mature, that means it's deemed suitable for only those 17 and older and should not be sold to anyone under 17 unless accompanied by a parent. But what if a child tries to purchase a mature game on their own? We put the video stores to the test. We sent in a 12-year-old boy to see if retailers would sell him these M-rated games that are designed for users at least 17 years old. Our first store, Media Play in Mishawaka, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. tells our 12-year-old this M-rated game that warns of violence, blood, and gore on the cover. Gaming, we don't ask for identification. So you do not ask, period. So he could have came in and bought any one he wanted. Any game, correct. And that's exactly what their corporate statement said. But the IEMA, that's the Interactive Entertainment Merchants Association, disagrees. The nonprofit organization partners with retailers across the country to enforce video game ratings. Is Media Play on that list? Yes, they're an IEMA member company. 
Next stop, GameStop. Or it'll be 31.79. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Our 12-year-old is two for two. You guys ran into him without asking for ID, and I was wondering what your store policy is. Well, ma'am, um, I'm actually just starting. I know, don't know what the specific store policy is. We're supposed to ask for the ID, though. I do mm -hmm. know that. Blockbuster, also an IEMA partner, blocked our $54 sale. You have an ID on your money? Uh, no, sorry. Don't uh, have. I need you that ID. Oh. Game. Our last stop, another IEMA partner, Game Crazy. And they did the same thing that Blockbuster did when our 12-year-old decoy tried to purchase an M-rated video game. Do you have any of the Grand Theft, Theft, Theft Autos? Um, we do, but I need a parent in here for you buy them. Ah, oh, okay. Thanks anyway. Two stores willing to abide by industry regulations and two stores willing to sell without reservation. An eye-opener to parents to know what could happen if they're not around. Well, I probably wouldn't go back there. I guess it helps me know that the industry is trying to regulate itself.